Uh, we have a question here about a 74 years old uh, female uh, who was very active intellectually um, and uh, who after a couple of surgeries was given pain medication specifically uh, oxycotin which uh, uh, was later switched to oxycodone for, for pain. Um, she noticed that uh, she had a somewhat um, she noticed a somewhat declined intellectual functioning uh, after oxycodone and uh, uh, this is a very common situation uh, sp specifically in uh, uh, elderly using pain medications and not only oxycodone but uh, uh, any anticholinergic medications such as uh, um, Benadryl or Compazine uh, medications that can be used for other reasons such as nausea, vomiting, pain um, can cause a uh, so-called delirium which is a dysregulation of the acetylcholine uh, circuitry in the brain and uh, as we know acetylcholine is the uh, uh, neurotransmitter that uh, is in charge of uh, short-term memory. So um, pain medication, um, especially uh, uh, opiates as well as tricyclic antidepressants such as Elavil, which have uh, anticholinergic side effects, disrupt uh, the cholinergic circuitry in the brain causing uh, short-term memory. So this is what we call a delirium. Uh, we see it frequently in the hospital. Uh, in fact, delirium is very common in elderly, um, not only with medications, but uh, after fractures, uh, after surgeries, and so forth. Uh, the good thing is that delirium is reversible um, with the stopping of the pain medications. Uh, for instance, these patients can be switched to uh, non-steroidal anti-inflammatory agents uh, which do not cause delirium uh, as opposed to opiates or uh, um, uh, uh, or, or Elavil which, uh, which are very known and uh, um, very famous in causing delirium. Um, another thing is that, that laboratory studies need to be done in order to check the level of uh, sodium and potassium, BUN and creatinine, in order to rule out a uh, metabolite imbalance, which can also be uh, a cause of delirium.